Okay. So this is like, you know, you might be putting together you know, some sort of an analysis like this, and this is like a net present value, you know, kind of finance sort of stuff. And so you might be putting together templates, or this could be for any sort of dashboards at all. And, and what I mean by that is whenever you're putting these together, a lot of times you'll end up having objects, you know, where you'll do like an insert, and you'll come over and you'll put in a shape, and you have your shape here, and this happens a lot with dashboards, right? Because you want to have a real pretty, like, header for your dashboard, right? I mean, here's the problem with this, is whenever you go in and you start to put in new rows or change the size of the rows, it does that to you, right? Oh, it ends up messing, messing up everything for you, right? Mm -hmm. So let's, let's walk you through how you can fix that. I want, to th I want three, three Srirachis out of this, so I'm... Uh, Trying to trying to get to so let's go ahead and start this from the very beginning. Let's say you're about to create a dashboard, and you're you say I want to have a, a pretty header here, and we're not going to use Jordan's tip from last week where he uh, you know auto auto sized all this. But let's just go ahead and put in some text. And I want that. Sorachi dashboard. <laughs> Woot. <laughs> All right. Okay. Let's go ahead and just format this real quick. Uh, da, da, da. Okay. So here's the thing. Right now, let's go ahead and undo that. There is a setting. Now, again, this is one of those things that if you don't know how to do this, it's a pain for you. But if you do know how to do it, you know, this is something that just everything gets set for you. So you can come down here. I right-clicked on this and go to Size and Properties. Size and Properties. Go down to the little Properties area here, and there's this little thing here on whether you're not whether or not you want this to move but don't size with cells, or don't move and don't size with cells. And in this case, that's what we're going to do. We're just going to go ahead and set that. So now, as a result, now if you if you're creating your dashboard or anything else like that, and you end up doing some quick inserts or you start moving things around. You see, I just inserted a ton of cells. We'll just insert two more. And I'm inserting more and more rows every single time, but now nothing is changing to the object. So the object is pretty much stuck in place. So mm -hmm. that's that's Good the job. tip, particularly if you're looking if you're looking to do dashboards, you're looking to build templates, particularly things with a lot of objects, there's that little thing right there that'll help to make your life to where it's not nearly as much of a pain. Yep. Yep, and and I've used that a lot when say leaving instructions for uh, people that I've built stuff for, and you don't you want to move stuff around or have room for a pivot table or something, but you don't want the instructions to move. So yes, so what good stuff I'm going to say is yes, that is a three sriracha tip. Bam. Because because, Bam. Wow, because because you need that warmth, right? <laughs> but this won't set you on fire. It just kind of warms you all up, like up in here. Warms you all yeah. up in here. Yeah, that's right. That's right. So that